Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tammy. Welcome to our video tutorial series on beginning Sprite Kit. In this series, you'll learn how to make iOS and tvOS games using Swift and Apple's built-in 2D game framework named Sprite Kit. You'll do this by building a game titled Zombie Conga. This game was included in our book, 2D iOS and tvOS Games by Tutorials. So why would you choose to use SpriteKit as opposed to something like Unity? Well, to be honest, SpriteKit is a great way to get started with making games for the Apple platforms. It's relatively easy to understand, especially if you're already familiar with Swift and iOS development. So what about Unity? That's a good question. I'm glad I asked it. Unity is what we recommend when you want to get more serious about game development. It's not that Sprite Kit isn't for serious game developers. It's just that Unity is much more powerful than Sprite Kit, and it's what many of the professional game companies use when they're creating games. If you want some more information on Unity, we've got some fantastic tutorials on our site. Before we get started, let's take a look at some of the prerequisites for this video tutorial series. First, you'll need some basic knowledge of Swift. You don't need to be an expert, but you should at least be familiar with the basics. If you need some help with that, we also have tutorials on our site for Swift. You can even pick up a copy of our book, iOS Apprentice. You'll also need the latest version of Xcode. You don't need a device on which to test, you can just use the simulator. However, when you start getting ready to ship your games, it's very important that you do test on a device before releasing them. By the end of this series, you'll have a better understanding of sprites and actions, that mysterious game loop, universal app support, and more. As you go through this series, I'll even be giving you some challenges along the way. I hope you're as excited about watching this series as I am recording it. Sprite Kit is absolutely my favorite, and I can't wait to share it with you. That's it for this video tutorial. The next step is to jump right in and discover the world of sprites, which is what we're going to do in the next video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.